The next issues we're going to go over are electrical issues that you might run into while running your machine. The most common one that can happen is the molinito shutting off unexpectedly while you're running. Uh, if that happens, the first thing you'll want to do is first unplug the machine from the wall and disengage it from power. Uh, and then come on over here and this button right here is a reset button. It's the red one uh, encircled by the white. Go ahead and give it a solid push all the way down. You don't have to hold it down, just pushing it all the way will reset your molinito. Likely what happened is that the molinito was over, um, overloaded in power. The motor has an automatic shutoff mechanism when it's doing too much power and uh, to prevent it from damaging itself, it'll just shut down. Um, so with the molinito unplugged and reset, the next step you'll want to do is disengage the lever here on the side and then also loosen the tightening knob. So spin it counterclockwise. I'd say about a half a rotation, if not a full one, um, because what's likely happening is the tension between the stones is requiring too much power for the uh, machine to operate functionally. Um, we're going to have a video as well going over how to bring in your grind to the preference and get a very fine grind. That's going to be our quick start video. I'd recommend to check that one out and it goes over the tips and techniques to get very fine masa without having to um, engage the stones all the way and overpowering them. Uh, the, the next thing that could happen is if, if you uh, loosened the knob and have reset it, plugged the machine back in, and you're noticing that it still isn't turning on, it could then potentially be um, sort of a wiring issue. Do a quick visual check on the wiring to see if you notice that there are any cables that are loose or not secure. If for whatever reason they are, um, please take a picture and then reach out to us at molinito at masienda.com and we'd be happy to help and resolve the issue for you. Um, but if it looks like this, in terms of all the wiring looks like it's secured and it's, and it's nothing's out of place, um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is just, just to check and see if the circuit board's working. Now to do that, with the Molinito plugged in, uh, you'll notice this IO switch right here. You'll notice it's a little slider. Test it out by sliding it over. Once you slide it over, you'll notice the machine might turn on and you let go it springs back, so it'll shut down the machine. If, if you're noticing that turning this slider turns it on, um, then it's a particularly loose wire that you'll wanna check. Uh, and we'll go over that uh, right now. So you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. Behind this on-off switch is this black cube. This guy actually detaches fairly easily. So you go ahead and just place the screwdriver in here, give it some good leverage, and pop the bottom. With the bottom pop, go ahead and come up here and pop the top, and that releases it from the power switch. And the particular wire that you're looking for is this one right here. It can be visually hard to see without popping it out. It is going from number two to number three. Uh, you'll just want to make sure that it's there connected. What can happen sometimes is the connector may loosen, uh, and so you see this may be floating around or it may just be um, not fully engaged. You can tighten it right here with a Phillips head screwdriver to make sure the connector is secure. And then once you've done that, this you can actually just realign uh, by hand. Just give it a good clip. Once it's snapped in, you're set and you should be good to go.